Hello everyone. Last week we looked at how we used ATP. Today we'll talk about how ATP is resynthesized in our body. The three ways of regenerating ATP in our body. Your substrate level phosphorylation, oxidative phosphorylation, and adenylate kinase reaction. Substrate level phosphorylation makes ATP from high energy compounds such as phosphocreatine or phosphoenolpyruvate. It is an anaerobic process. Oxidative phosphorylation makes ATP from ADP through electrochemical gradient. It does require oxygen. The third method is through adenylate kinase reaction, which catalyzes this particular reaction. Two ADP molecules are made from one AMP molecule and an ATP molecule. ADP is then used in the process above to make ATP. Phosphocreatine is a small reservoir which helps regenerate ATP in the muscles. Phosphocreatine is broken down to creatine which releases energy. This energy is coupled to regenerate ATP from ADP. This reaction is facilitated by an enzyme called CK which stands for creatine kinase. Phosphocreatine is regenerated through the creatine kinase associated with mitochondria. However, it needs to be transported to where it is needed. In this case, the actomyosin ATPase in the muscles. This is done through the phosphocreatine shuttle. There are clusters of creatine kinase in the cytoplasm which facilitate this pathway. Reducing equivalents are molecules which carry electrons and transfer them from one molecule to another. Good examples in our body are FAD, NAD+, and NADP+. Here are the reactions. You've already seen this flowchart before, but let's add more details to it. Anabolism is making carbs and lipids using the reducing equivalents. This process is called reduction. Whereas in catabolism, you break down carbs and lipids to generate the reducing equivalents and is catalyzed by dehydrogenase. This is called oxidation. A good way to remember would be, reduction is catalyzed by reductase. Let's look at a case study. Bodybuilders take creatine to put on muscle mass. What are the effects of higher intake of creatine? Discuss your answers in the comment section below. Thank you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.